All right, YouTube Nation, what's going on? Gil Boogie over here. I'm with my, uh, with what is this, half of the Musical Force family. Um, today, I just want to make this video about what Musical Force is, um, how the whole Musical Force team got started, a little bit about the roots of Musical Force and where it is now and where we see it going, and um, about YouTube DJs Live, of course. That is where I met these gentlemen. Wiz, I knew. But I met these guys about a year ago at YouTube DJs Live, and they will be at the um, next YouTube DJs Live event, which is going to be May 15th. You guys know the info I'll post it up, and it's going to be streaming live on MusicalForce.net. Um, so right now, I want to focus the attention on DJ Easy Irv. He is the um, should I say the genius behind this all, or or the co-genius? What is he? <laughs> Well, you know, I was safe. Go ahead, don't be shy. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Saucy like that. Saucy. Saucy. Saucy, Saucy, Saucy like that, you know. <laughs> no, it all started like back in the days when, you know, like during the days of Africa Ben Bada and all the rappers and, you know, I was out there with them, but at a new level, you know, just admiring the greats, doing their thing, all right. And uh, pretty much uh, got out there and did some DJing at a rink called Skating Palace. And, uh, Where's that at? That's in Soundview area of the Bronx. Um, okay. Around, around, like, when was this? This was back in the 80s. Okay. Yeah, this was back in the 80s, and, you know, it's been, you know, some some early set sessions there, no late sessions, you know, we, we just hung out, you know, DJing. Um, I got the pleasure of seeing Africa Bambada and Grandmaster Flash nice. come as guest stars, you know, with some Soul Sonic Force. All of them were there. You were you know? DJing? I was DJing nice. there at the time, and Nine I gave years. up the booth for them to get right, down. Right, right. You know, uh, we brought in a lot of different different artists, you know. And um, from that point on, you know, I did some also some uh, some DJing at uh, Stevenson High School in the Bronx. And uh, Dave was around, and we we, we, we hung out. And, uh, you remember during the days we we inspire each other. Dave uh, kicked it off out there in Queens, and that's how he hooked up with um, K Wiz. And uh, it, it shot even higher than that, you know. K Wiz doing his stuff out in Queens and Brooklyn, and um, Dave, you can pick it up from there, man. Well, we did a lot of a lot of parties and stuff at my college. Yep. Right, we got together. That's right. And um, I was part of the uh, Latin American uh, organization that put the uh, Farmingdale State University. And uh, I remember they wanted a DJ, so they had asked, it's like, yo, does anybody know a DJ? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I actually knew <laughs> so, and then well. yeah. I, I called my cousin, and we went up there, and we did a, a few parties up at the college, and, uh, and it just right. shot up from there. Yeah. You know? and, we were we were music before it's back then. And yeah. I got flyers to prove it too. You know? So you guys are <laughs> using the name musical yeah, force. Yeah, way back what is this now? Like in the nineties, eighties? Like what oh, are we talking yeah. about 80s, right now? Yeah. We're this talking is still about back in the eighties. Talking about like eighty three, yep. eighty four, wow. yep. around there. Yep. Yeah, nice. We had a light show, pretty much the same thing as now, but you know, the big old school yeah, lights. Yeah, big, yeah, heavy ones. All LEDs, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So you know, then Dave hooked up with with K Wiz and picked up from there. Yeah. You know? so, and and when did like you guys? I, this goes back to a, a, a relationship thing. His his wife and my cousin's wife were sisters. Okay. Um, and he has been telling me for quite a while to, to come get down with them, but uh, I had hung up the turntables for a long time. Right. You know. Right. Um, and when I finally got back to doing it again, hooked up with them, um, uh, and thanks to the, the modern technology, of Serato, I was able to use vinyl again because once the CDs came out, I hung it up. Right. There was no way in hell if I couldn't touch vinyl, I'm done. You know, like I said before, in the last year's YouTube, right. <laughs> everybody knows that story right. about yeah. the stroke and everything. Um, and you know, and I thank Dave and, and Earth for being uh, persistent in telling Steve, my cousin, what's up with that? What's up with this? What's up with that? What's up with this? Right, right, you know, and I thank them because they actually helped me get the courage again and the, 
and the strength to want to do it again. You see, you always had that that fever, man. You just needed the outlet. Exactly. And and that's why, that I, th that's why I thank them because if it wasn't that they were persistent, I probably would have. It probably would have fizzled out. Right. Or I probably would just kept DJing in my room, you know, to myself, just to say, well, I still got it. I can still do it. Um, again, thanks to modern technology, now with the webcam technology, um, the world can see us. Now that that leads Absolutely. me to the next thing. So musical force was like a mobile DJ team. That's right. right? right. That's how, right. that's what you guys were a mobile yeah. DJ team. How did you guys transition? Like what made you start wanting to DJ on the internet? All right, here here it starts. Mass slash, right? Who is Dave? Who is Dave? Man, let's introduce ourselves right now. Dave, I'm sorry, Dave. DJ Mad Slash. Mad DJ Mad Slash. DJ Easy Irv. Easy Irv. DJ K-Wiz. DJ Primo. Ah. Ah. DJ Ah. 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 Ah.
no no knocks against the other live TV you stream, but Snakeham allows us to yeah, continue I like the to format. do that. Yeah, so. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of glitches in it. I mean, sometimes you get kicked out, sometimes this and that. But you know what? They come back. It's all part <laughs> of it. It's like, all right, you lose a connection, but guess what? When you come back, they're back there again. They're looking for you. So. Prime time in the mix. Yo, what's up, Gabby? How you doing? Gabby's in the house. Gabby. Hey, Gabby. What's up, mommy? How are you? Prime time. Play a little bit of uh, what? What's that? Uh, I speak a little Americano. Speak a little Americano. Gabby's favorite song. <laughs> Yo, you gotta see DJ Primo. He's looking at his son, DJ. Prime time, like, oh my god. I got some serious cop on these here. Yeah. So on Sunday, um, just run me down real quick on the DJs that are DJing and their ages, if, if you guys don't mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, on Sunday, we got... There we go. We got this is Primo no, right yeah, yeah, We can't get Primo. DJ can't Primo be. right here and DJ Primetime, the youngest one. Oh, on Sunday, nice. remember, he's a problem. He's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, DJs. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday, we got DJ we Magic. We got DJ Magic on Sundays that starts it off at 12 o'clock. How old is he? Uh, he's 13 years old. All right. No, 14. He actually got his interest of DJing from me. Um, I started DJing back in the early 80s. And just like K Wiz, when it went down to uh, CDs, I hung it up for a while. That's right. And I was just like, <laughs> I like, just like he said, if you can't touch vinyl, I don't want to do it. I was one of the last DJs at Peoples in the Bronx, yep. in the Castle Hill area. I also DJed at Tapestries as well. Um, and DJ Primetime, who was nine years old. He's also DJing on Sundays as well. We alternate between DJ Magic and DJ Primetime. Uh, he's, uh, he, he's a force to be reckoned with. He's got a definite ear for it. His heart's in the game. And um, I believe Sunday started because on Saturdays, it became a family thing in my house where everybody got together and was listening to the music. And my, my two sons wanted some airtime. Now on, on Saturdays, Rough with airtime on Saturdays, so we'll open up a Sunday slot. I spoke to Urban, Urban kind of agreed to it, we spun it off, and it's become now a team thing where now his friends are now camping up. His friends are now interacting. So it's now expanding from like the, the older generation, now the younger generation is kind right. of like taking over. So they got their school friends in there logging on and exactly. checking them out and everything. Like exactly. That. And at 1 o'clock, we got DJ Range coming on, which is, uh, I guess, Irv, you want to. Talk a little bit about Range. Yeah, Range, well, that's my son, and, you know, he's been, uh, uh, you know, constantly getting on behind the turntables and inviting his friends. How old is Range? Uh, Range is going to be 18. This oh, okay. year he's 17 now. 17. And uh, he's last year of uh, high school, so he's going into college, and uh, he's, been doing, he's, been, he's been kicking it off on the private and, you know, like mixing. And finally, this 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 format, you know, exposed him. And he's really really good. He, he knows he got a good ear, and uh, he listens to everyone's uh, mixing. And he says he uses that to his advantage. He learns that from other DJs as well, which is something that every DJ should do. You know, it's something you like about that DJ. Don't be shy. Learn it. You know, why not? You know, and. Uh, that's that's uh that's what PJ's. We have we have uh range, but we got yeah, we got, oh, yeah, we got range. DJ Magic right here. Yeah, this is this DJ is magic. magic. This is range. We got range right here. They're uh so we got prime time, nine years old. Yep. Right? Yep. Range? No, range is right. Range, here. how old? Seventeen. Seventeen, magic. Fourteen. La mommy, la mommy. You make, let me you guys, you make cleaning so much easier. You make cooking so much easier. You make everything so much easier. I swear to God. I just put you guys on and I just start cleaning and cooking. It's so much easier, really. You guys are awesome.